Alright, so every now and then I'm watching a video that has to do with the Spurs and you know, once in a while I see somebody in, in the comment of, of a specific Spurs video claiming that the Spurs are a boring dynasty slash team. And the, the first thing, thing that pops up to my head is what or how makes the Spurs a boring dynasty? You know, I mean, keep in mind, the Spurs have made the playoffs in 21 of the last 22 seasons and have not missed the playoffs in the last 15 seasons ever since the greatest power forward of all time was drafted. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I don't know what to tell you. Not just that, w with their 50th win in the 2011-12 lockout season, which was last season, the Spurs currently hold the record for most consecutive 50 plus wins at 13. So for the last 13 seasons, I'm sorry, the last 13 consecutive seasons, the Spurs have won at least 50 wins, which means that they have lost no more than 32 games, which is pretty darn good. You know, not to mention, this dynasty is also perfect. They're four out of four in um, uh, championships. That's obviously um, 99, 03, 05, and 07. So they've won roughly one championship um, every three and a half to four years ever since the year 99 thus far. So for the last 13 seasons, they've won four championships, which is still pretty good. I can't say it's amazing, but it's pretty good. And let's see, what else? Their big three not only features the greatest power forward to ever play the game, but who else? Tony Parker, who is among the top five greatest foreign-born point guards in NBA history. No question about that. Let's see, what else? Ginobili? Who was again uh, among the top five greatest shooting guards? I'm sorry, the top five greatest foreign born shooting guards to ever play the game. And if you guys dispute any of that, I don't know what to tell you. And please don't take that personal, but honestly, I mean, if you don't believe any of that, you just simply do not know basketball. Honestly. And just because the Spurs don't make these huge blockbuster trades and just because they're not all over the media and TV and all this other junk stuff that you see online and, and on TV doesn't make them a boring dynasty you know this this team um, this team has been contenders for the last what 15 plus years that's very very good I mean again guys Greg Popovich to me is <laughs> Arguably the, the most underrated active coach right now. I mean, this guy is... I mean, no one talks about Greg Popovich. I mean, this guy... It, what? He's He's been coach of the year. He's led the uh, Spurs to um, four championships within the last uh, 13 years. Ever since 98, 99 season. You know, but still no one likes to talk about him. But let me know what you guys think about that what if anything makes the Spurs a boring dynasty because I because me personally I sure don't um, think they're a boring team so yeah guys let me know thanks for watching um, I highly appreciate it and I will get to you guys soon take care